Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to do a quick video and show you just how easy it is to make your own um, cracked egg designs in Cricut Design Space. So you don't need to go buy that SVG, you can make your own and you can do it all within Cricut. So this is basically what we're going to recreate. I'm going to delete this and show you how I made it. Okay, it's really simple. You're just going to use your shapes. So come over to the left, grab a circle, and put it in. You want to unlock your circle and squish it into an egg. All right, that looks like an egg. So we're done with that one for now. We're going to move it off to the side. Now we're going to come in and we're going to get a diamond. Okay, so here's my diamond. I want to turn it white just so that I can see the contrast of the diamond to the egg. Okay, this diamond needs to be much smaller and I want to unlock it and kind of play with its shape a little bit too. Okay, so that still looks just a little bit big. I'm going to lock it back up and shrink it down. Okay, so I think that size is going to work. I need three of these, so I'm going to select my diamond, come over here to the top of my menu bar, and duplicate it twice. Okay, I'm going to move this egg out of my way. To line these up, I'm going to drag a box around all of them, and I'm going to come to Align, Align Top. And now all the tops are lined up. I just need to space them out. So I've selected the one on the right, and I'm going to use my arrow key to kind of space it out a little bit. Um, and I can eyeball this and put it where I want it also, but um, something else I like to do just to make sure everything is perfect is I'm going to select everything again, I'm going to come to Align, and then I'm going to Distribute Evenly. So now they are all perfectly aligned. There's even spacing between them, and they're exactly lined up from top to bottom. Move my egg back in. And just kind of look and see what I think that's going to look like. Um, I don't like the shape of my egg. I'm going to change it a little bit. I want it to be just a little bit wider. Okay. Now I want it to be skinnier. You'll play with it and just get whatever you think works best. Okay, so I think that's what's going to work for me. So I've got my cracks in the middle of my egg and I've got my egg. Let me pull that over there again. You want to take your three diamonds and weld them all together. It is super important that you weld. Don't attach, don't group, but weld. The reason for that is we are going to slice these diamonds out of the middle of our egg but if they aren't welded, if they're just attached or grouped, it's not going to slice. So I've got my egg behind my diamonds. I'm going to drag my box around everything. And I'm going to go ahead and center it one more time. Oh, that's not the right center I wanted to do. I want to do this center. Okay. And it jumped my egg up. I don't want my egg way up there, so I'm going to kind of play with it again, get it right where I wanted it. Okay. That's looking good. Drag your box around everything you've got. Come down to the bottom of your menu and hit Slice. Then clear out these extra parts that you don't need. There's going to be three of them, and you can get rid of them. Here's our egg. Um, I'm not completely happy with it, but for the purposes of this tutorial and not going crazy, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Okay, so in our design, we have three of these. We're going to come and duplicate this twice. Okay, drag a box around everything, align, top. Okay, and then I'm just going to scooch these out so they're not overlapped. Awesome. And just to make sure again that we're perfect on our alignment, I'm going to distribute evenly between them. And they were already pretty good. Um, this is just an idea I'm playing with here. I want to rotate this one just to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to come up to my rotate and hit 180. Nope, I do not like that. Okay, just a thought. So here we go. We've got our eggs, but you'll notice that it's all one piece. You can't um, widen the gap between the mini at this point. So what I want you to do is drag a box around everything and group it all together so it's kind of one thing for now, and then duplicate it. So now you've got two. 
Okay, ungroup it, and we're gonna work one egg at a time. We're gonna take the egg on the right, we're gonna come to contour, and we're gonna delete the top of that egg. Take our middle egg, contour, delete the top. Left egg, contour, delete the top. Okay, now we can group these guys back together. Okay, down here, ungroup. Take your right egg, contour, delete the bottom. Middle egg, contour, delete the bottom. Left egg, contour, delete the bottom. Group them all back together. And now, you can put this wherever you want it. You can raise it, you can lower it, whatever you want to do. Those are your eggs. I'm going to pull in the text that I had. I believe I had the name Jessica. This is a font that I have downloaded onto my computer. This is not a Cricut font. Um, to get it where I wanted it, I came up to my letter spacing and I put it at zero. And it still wasn't quite right, so I'm just going to knock it down bit by bit. Now I want to stop right there because if I keep going, my C is going to overlap into my A. So at this point, although it's still not right where I want it, I'm going to ungroup these letters and I'm going to move them individually. Okay, now everything is right where I want it. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to weld it together. And then I can play with my sizing to fit it in the eggs where I want it to go. Okay, so I believe in my example the Jessica was yellow. And then we ungroup these eggs this way. And I'm going to group them back into actual eggs this way. So I've got this one, I'm going to group it together. This one, I'm going to group it together. This one, I'm going to group it together. And now I can change the color of these eggs. Let's make this all Eastery. Okay, I want to bring Jessica to the front. It's behind the egg, so I'm going to come to Arrange, Send to Front. Now it's in the front. I also think in the um, example I had given you, I had kind of tilted these side eggs a little bit. It's up to you. You can do what you want with them. You can move them in close. You can spread them out, tilt them, overlap them. It's your design. You do what you want to do with it. I want this egg to be behind the blue one, just like that pink one is behind the blue one. So I'm going to come to arrange and move backwards. Okay. So right now, all of that is looking like I want it. And I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to move it. So I'm going to select everything and group it all together. That way I've got it, you know, a big group and it's not going anywhere. Okay, now I want to add the little dots. So I'm going to come back to my shapes and get another circle. And just eyeball what size I think might look good. I'm going to go with that. And I'm just going to duplicate a ton of times and spread them out wherever I think I might want some dots. Let's see. Let's do a couple more. All right, I'm just going to stop there. I mean, that's I would mess with it a little bit more if I was making this design you know, for myself or for a client, but just so that you get the picture, we're going to stop there. And then we're just going to turn these dots whatever colors we want them to be. And I'm just messing around. I'm not really having any kind of rhyme or reason to anything right now. Let's see here. Let's get all the colors we need. And we need some purple dots. And there you have it. That is your cracked egg design. It's so, so, so simple. So go make your own and decorate your Easter baskets. All right, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.